Here is a fairly common statistics problem, right? You're supposed to find a 95% confidence interval for a proportion. And they say, well, I measured 50 and I got 12 or I got 27 or etc. And you can calculate the confidence interval. The problem is, what if your sample came out to be zero? Like you tried 50 times, you got nothing. So it seems possible that the actual proportion is zero but how do you make a confidence interval? How high up do you go, right? Because we can't use the bell curve, right? Because the bell curve requires that you not be too close to zero because what we're talking about here is like a mess. It's like way over there into impossible land. So what do we do to cope with it? It turns out that the exact answer to that is not yet known. Nobody actually knows how to do that perfectly yet. So what do you do in this situation? They have devised a rule of thumb that seems to work fairly well. The confidence interval you use is from zero up to three over n. So for this example, n is 50. So we're going from zero to three over 50. So your 95% confidence interval is zero to 0.06. Now there's a weird little caveat on that. The people who came up with this rule said a 95% confidence interval, but they meant the upper tail was 2.5%. So really it's like 97.5%. Yet they call it 95%. So you need to watch out for that. There's a 2.5% tail. And clearly it's a single tail distribution because you can't go below zero. And it's clearly looking like zero, but there you have